Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this video. How are you guys doing? Dear parents, let us discuss what is wrong with a child giving anybody, whether an elderly person or their, their mate, something with a left hand. You know, before now, the, the African stereotype way of bringing up children, I used to feel that, you know, let my children just do it for peace to reign, let them just, you know, and I discovered that one of, then I started putting pressure on them when they were much younger, until I listened to a child therapist saying that it is not nice for children to be you know, if, to stop children who are lefty or maybe children who are doing both hands stop them from using those hands and I remember one time my dad told me my dad is of another generation he told me I asked him I said daddy what is wrong with using the left hand and my father said no that there's nothing wrong with using the left hand that everything and God created it for use. I was surprised. I was like, if my father, who is of that generation, can be saying this, you know. So, and what the child therapist said is that if you begin to tell the child to use the other hand, it's going to, you know, you tamper with the child's brain and how they think. I was so surprised, you know. Something happened today that's making me make this video. I want you to tell me if children are using a left hand to give you something, do you now begin to? You have told them and you see that they keep making and in this case my daughter was giving the person this thing because she was holding something with her right hand and so the person now gave her another thing and because she did not remember to change the hand that was our undoing and the next thing i got the insult of my life and that is why i'm making this video i want to find out what is wrong with is the left hand not from god what about children who were born like that are they supposed to we, are they supposed to be beaten up until the point where they begin to start using the right hand? I want you guys to please comment down below. What Have you experienced this before where people insult you as a mother or as a father because your children use left hand? What is my own uh, problem with or what? The, how did I get into that? That I'll have to be embarrassed before my child. Spoken to me with so much disrespect. And the funny thing is I hear that what, why am I talking about disrespect? That she's my senior, so whatever she says, I, I'm not supposed to talk about respect. So I told her, well, to me, how I want to bring up my children, they will, they will respect elders, elders will respect them. Because, you see, the way I want to bring up my children, I don't want any stereotype. I want my children to grow well, to grow in spirit, soul, and body. I want to have a, I want to have balanced children. I don't want children that will be shouting, quarreling, all the time no my children I, I hold meetings with them more than I quarrel with them I hold meetings with them more than I even shout I hardly beat them and when I want to beat them I beat them but I don't do it so that it's everyday beating no 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 I don't do that because when a child is used to beating every time you beat that child <laughs> if that, the child gets used to beating you have lost that child so the best thing is do more of talking so that when the child then the, the beating comes the child will know that for my mother to beat me or my father to beat me it has really become so bad. But if, even if you wanted to talk to me as a mother, there's a way you can do it. Do you get? You, you don't need to say it in front of my child. You don't need to say it. You don't need to look. That, that, is, that was seriously painful. Right now, this is not the time. I'm moving houses, and this will be the last video I'm recording here. Right now, I need, what, what, I need peace. Like... Total peace. I don't need all of what is why are you uh, you know dragging me because of left hand and right hand. So if you are watching this video and you have experienced this kind of thing before, where problem can actually happen because of using the left hand and right hand, please. I thought we were trying to like change some things. Yes, it's an is there an African culture? I want to know. Is there anywhere even in the English dictionary where they say that if somebody that the person even told me one time like that when that's why people say excuse my left excuse my left is nigerians that started that thing is it an african thing or is it a a thing that the whole world practice left hand some children are lefties some are both hands so how do you begin to change a star a child's brain because immediately i listened to the child therapist saying that on radio it kind of trained and that was why even when my children had um when they were born they didn't even like to watch tv they were about maybe um four months when we listened to the radio and the professor in child health said that it's not good for children to be watching TV to sit down TV and be watching until they are two years old because from ze month zero down to year two everything that they watch is what registers in their brain and that is how the brain forms and that's why you see some children are very restless so every time you see me I learn 
when I listen to professionals, I learn. So shouting on children, beating them all the time does not change a child. I have seen somebody that is very close to me that was beaten up very well. The person did not still change. He didn't still change. He became worse. So it's not by beating, it's by having meetings, talking to them. Sometimes you even blackmail them that I do want people to laugh at your mother or your father. It changes children. All this shouting, beating, dragging, you beat a child to a point where, no, it is not nice. So I don't want to bring my own children up like that. Let everybody bring up their children the way they want to bring up their children. But please, do not, um, even if you want to correct my child, do it in a kind manner. Don't use derogatory words or everything. You saturate my children. I'll slap you. I will knock you for every little thing. And every other thing, you are beating them. for. You can kneel a, a child down. That's okay. But you see this hitting a child and all of that. I'm not, I'm not, no. I can beat my children when they are wrong. But let it not be every day I beat you every day. In fact, in a day, I'll beat you three, four times. For what? It's not a war zone, you know. So, and you, I have never touched your children for one day. I have never. Like, I don't ever want to ever touch your children. I've never done that. So, when people see you and you, they begin to say these kind of things to you, whether you're outside, where, wherever you are, stand up for your children. They, they are the only ones you have. Stand up for them. If you cannot defend your children, ah, they, they, the world will, will, will teach you. That is why I cannot take my children to boarding school because a lot of children from dysfunctional homes are there. They will now be, they'll begin to instill things in your children that you don't want. So that is the reason why I made this video to say, to ask you people, what is wrong with using the left hand? I want to know. Please, those of you who are researchers, those of you who have, you know, know things about this, please just let me know. What is wrong using the left hand? Is it a bad thing? Is it something that, is it, is it, uh, is it, um, how do I call it? Is it diabolical? Does it bring, is it disrespectful to use the left hand? Because I feel that it's an African culture. And you know, each time I bring up this talk to say, is this thing an African cause or culture? The people that I'm having the conversation with, they are usually not ready to listen because they have stereotyped their minds that it must be that way. If I advise my children, I say, please be using your right hand to give people something. And do you know the funny thing? Anytime my children give me things, I don't even remember the hand they use in giving me. That's to show you that I'm not picking on. When you begin to pick on everything, there's wahala. When you begin to pick up everything a child does, you are picking on it. What, what happens to negotiation, talking, about, talking to the child? Children will naturally tilt towards people who treat them well, as against people who do not treat them well. Do you understand? How can children be with you and they are tiptoeing because they work on eggshells? No. Your children should be able to walk up to you to tell you things. But if you are always shouting, always, you know, doing one or two things, then there's a problem. So that's why I said, let me come and do this video and find out from you guys that my experience today was really, really funny. How did, did I come into a matter that I didn't know about? In a, a way of saying, because your mother did not train you, that's just what it meant. Because of left hand and right hand, I'm so shocked, you know. So that's why I'm feeling that there's something that is behind this. It's not just the left hand and right hand. It is just... It's just like when they say something was killing man. Like, do you, I don't know if you understand. It might not be the actual thing that happened to you, you know. So thank you guys for watching. Please drop your comment. Is this is it an African thing? Is it a traditional thing? Is it a worldwide uh, practice, or what do you think? Thank you guys for watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm actually stressed out because we are moving houses, so we are moving our things to the new house. Thank you for watching. Like this video. Share and subscribe and watch our advertisement. God bless.